Mystery of the Burj Khalifa How Tall Can Humans Build? Ever wonder how tall can humans really build? Is there a limit to what humans can and cannot do? When they say, the sky is the limit, do architects reply, challenge accepted? Welcome, meager listeners, to yet another mystery reveal. When I say the words, tallest building, what pops into your mind? Let me guess, there's only one right answer, Burj Khalifa. That's right, the tallest building to date. But don't you ever wonder how on earth they managed to construct this colossal skyscraper? I mean, did they use ladders to reach the top, or did they just convince Spider-Man to lend a hand? And when it comes to building skyscrapers, what exactly is our limit? Are we all secretly engaged in a global competition to see who can build the tallest tower? Well, buckle up, folks, because we're about to embark on a journey through concrete, steel, and a touch of architectural magic. Welcome, knowledge seekers, to the Universal Facts Channel. Here we unveil fascinating and lesser-known facts from around the world every day. Stay tuned for your daily dose of intriguing knowledge. It all started on the 6th of January, 2004, when they first dug the soil of Dubai to build the world's tallest building ever. This deal was incredibly unimaginable and record-breaking. They wanted Burj Khalifa to be the monster of the skyscrapers. The idea was to make this building not only the world's tallest, but also 62% taller than the world's second tallest building. If it could speak, I'm sure it would say, down there, remember to stretch before looking up. I'm not just breaking records, I'm giving chiropractors job security. Before this gigantic Burj Khalifa, all the previous world's tallest buildings were barely five to 10% taller than its ancestor, or at most 19% taller. However, the Burj Khalifa exceeded all imaginations. They aimed for an 829 meter tall building with a 62% difference from the second tallest. Why do you think they wanted such a massive difference? Well, the answer is simple, for an unbreakable record. As much as it sounds fascinating, the construction of the Burj Khalifa was no walk in the park. It took about five and a half years to construct this massive project. Until the 1st of October 2009, this building left the world astonished with its glorious architecture. The successful construction of Burj Khalifa changed the dynamics of the architectural world. Many countries then claimed to build skyscrapers even taller than Burj Khalifa. In fact, some even tried. However, no one has yet succeeded. Surprisingly, it's been more than 13 years and the Burj Khalifa stands proudly as the unbeaten world's tallest building. But how? What makes it so special? Why is it difficult to beat its record? This is the story of the tallest building mankind has ever made. Initially, only the cities of New York and Chicago competed to build such tall buildings. In fact, one of the tallest buildings from 1931 to 1971 was none other than New York's Empire State Building. It held this record for almost 40 years, perhaps the longest yet. This record was then broken by yet another New York building called the World Trade Center. It stood 417 meters tall, around 9% taller than the Empire State Building. In 1998, this competition moved from America to Asia, where two taller buildings, Petronas Tower in Kuala Lumpur and Taipei 101 were built. In 2009, with a massive margin, Burj Khalifa finally broke all records for the tallest building in the world. 829 meters tall. I mean, that's crazy! But actually, it wasn't the initial plan. The initial proposed height was around 550 meters. However, during the plan, they kept on increasing gradually until now, we see this giant standing 829 meters tall. The reason behind this whole project was basic. Make Dubai the hub of tourism and economy. The building would be the centerpiece of the attraction. Dubai wasn't all luxurious and chic like we see today. No, it took years of struggle and record-breaking projects like Burj Khalifa. Before the 1990s, Dubai was a village of fishing and pearl diving that had recently discovered oil. However, in the late 1990s and early 2000s, Dubai's leaders wanted to diversify its economy. They wanted to make it an international tourism hub and bring about foreign investment. Now the plan was massive, so its execution should be just the same. Hence, Burj Khalifa. This bad boy is so tall that even Spider-Man would think twice before attempting to climb it. 
its construction cost was no less than one and a half billion dollars. With more than 12,000 workers coming from a hundred different nationalities, they spent 22 million man hours building this masterpiece. However, the purpose of this building was quite successful. Today, Dubai is known as one of the most luxurious places to live. It's the hub of tourism, attracting economies from all over the world. Plenty of companies today have their offices in Dubai, and more are eager to expand. Not only this, but the rate of properties in the downtown area near Burj Khalifa have skyrocketed. They can easily recover their one and a half billion, and even more. Now, to understand the specialty of Burj Khalifa and why it stands so unbeatable, one needs to look into possible problems. Firstly, when a building is built so tall, it needs to support its weight. Similarly, due to such massive heights, it also needs to cater to the damage due to winds. The special thing about Burj Khalifa is that it overcomes all of these challenges with just one simple thing, its innovative design. If you look at its design from the top, you will see a Y-shaped building. Like a tripod, it extends three wings supported by a hexagonal center core. Such a structural system is known as a buttressed core and was invented by Burj Khalifa's structural engineer, Bill Baker. Only because of this system, Burj Khalifa can stand so tall. This structure also helps in reducing the impact of winds at such a height. Apart from this, the foundation of Burj Khalifa has 192 concrete and steel columns under it that extend 50 meters down into the ground. Wow, someone really thought this through. If you think about it, they also needed concrete to build above ground too. How in the world did they get it so high? Well, they built the world's largest concrete pumps just for the job. It sounds easy to say, but trust me, it's not. But they had a dream and nothing would stop them. If we talk about the building's exterior, it uses more than 100,000 square meters of glass and the world's biggest LED screen. Yep, you heard it right. It has a total of 1.2 million LED lights covering it. This is the reason why you see all those fascinating lights and patterns on its body. It really is mind-blowing, isn't it? Imagine 163 floors of jaw-dropping views, luxurious living spaces, and offices that touch the clouds. That's the Burj Khalifa. Humans are incredible, but how tall can they build? Let's see what building can be taller than this mighty Burj Khalifa. Over the last 12 years, no building has been able to beat the Burj Khalifa. Even the 17 latest tallest buildings were made after it. In Kuala Lumpur, there's the Merdeka, which is 679 meters tall and is still under construction. Yet, it's already the world's second tallest building. Undeniably, it's a commendable effort, but still, it's nowhere near the height of Burj Khalifa. Several other buildings taller than Burj Khalifa have been planned. In fact, two of them are already under construction. One of them is the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia. It is planned to be one kilometer tall, making it the first one to reach such heights. Its design is almost the same as Burj Khalifa due to their mutual architect. The construction of the Jeddah Tower first started in 2013, and luckily almost a fourth was completed. But hey, luck is not always on one side. Unfortunately, in early 2018, its construction was stopped due to certain political issues. Ever since then, the construction hasn't restarted, and no one knows yet when it will resume. However, if it does, it will surely break the record of Burj Khalifa. Another interesting project is one of Dubai's own, the Creek Tower. Designed by a Spanish architect, it aims to be the giant observational tower in Dubai. Its planning was done between 2016 and 2018, and the foundation has already been laid. But the construction process has stopped for now. Though they haven't yet revealed the exact height, it's assumed to be anywhere from 838 meters all the way up to 1300 meters. Wow, how tall do you imagine humans can build? Burj Khalifa's structural engineer, Bill Baker, claims that with the use of a modified buttress core, one could construct a building taller than three kilometers. But the taller the building is, the more weight you're putting on its bottom. Therefore, the force on the bottom and the wind pressure on top would be the greatest challenges when constructing such gigantic buildings. Lastly, the human body is also a challenging factor for tall buildings. At such high altitudes, there would be differences in air pressure, and unless you can control it, it's a problem, my friend. 
So until now, there is no building yet breaking the record of Burj Khalifa. But you never know, humans are unpredictable after all. Thanks for joining us on this skyscraping adventure. Until next time, keep reaching for the stars and keep questioning the heights that you can achieve.